I am currently playing Fallout 4. I, um, for everyone who, if anyone's watching, I was not here last week. I was in Washington, D.C. I wasn't able to play any Fallout with the mods, so Ooh. since yesterday until uh, today, I've been playing just Fallout 4 with mods, and it is so much fun. Um, and the mods have really gone above and beyond what, I mean, there's mods to bring, um, much like how PC gamers have the, um, command bar to bring in items, however many items they want at a time, they've made it so console people can have whatever they want, whenever they want, and whenever they need it without having the command bar, without having to type anything in. And I think it's really well done, along with um, one of my favorite mods is the laser sabers. <laughs> Lasers. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I don't know why I actually did air quotes, because no one can see me. Like I saw it. A moron. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Michelle felt it. Doctor Evil. Disturbance in the force. Yeah, I mean, there's um, you have. I mean, the mods that I have right now, so far is uh, I have the full dialogue interface, so you actually see what your character is going to say. Um, if there's anything special. Like, if it's sarcastic, or if it's, um, like, a persuasion type of thing to get more caps or anything, that still changes, so you'll be able to tell what's what. But you can actually see what your character's going to say. Um, I have the, uh, everyone's best friend, which is dog meat. You can have dog meat with you, and have another companion with you at the same time, which, and... I can agree with this. Um, in the mod's description, it actually says that's probably what Bethesda was originally planning to do with dog meat. Um, was that he was going to be able to walk around with everybody. Because uh, they even have dialogues where dog meat's around and everything else. Um, so, it seems like that was what Bethesda was originally going to do. And it just didn't actually make it in the game. Well, they have a mod for that now. I really like it. Um, but so far, there's just been so many different types of so many different types of mods that have just come in and um, like I now I can log on and search for a couple more. I know there's one where you can turn do turn dog meat into a cat. Mom. <laughs> yes, that's a thing. That that's a definite thing. Um, you have overpowered weapons, uh, alien assault rifles, the nu the Nuka Cola Pit Boy. That's, that is one of my favorites. I love the Nuka Cola Pit Boy. It looks amazing in game. It doesn't glitch anything. It it does look amazing. It is very well done, I have to say. But yeah, that is. Um, they have a few that's uh, looking through the WW the D World War Two. Sorry, I'm still a little. Off the World War Two cult, uh, 1911 is on here. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, they have, I mean, cheat rooms. They have, let's see, MK14s. It's just overpowered weapons out the butthole. Even they even have a mod where sanctuary is not completely ruined. It looks the same way it did before the bombs fell. So yeah, I saw that. That looks. There is some glitches with that one, like you the yeah, yeah. the main character's house kind of glitches a little bit. 
Um, but other than that, all the other ones are pretty are pretty much good. You have uh, Ben. I like. Oh, you can go ahead, Brandon. Um, I love the interface of it. it it's like Gary's mod. It has a very easy to go through interface, which I was wondering how they were going to pull off the way of getting the mods when you're on the console, which I really like. Very simple. It's easy to use, like Gary's mod. And the thing I find really cool about this is, like you said, almost everything runs perfectly fine. I thought, like a lot of people, there might have some troubles with this. But so far, out of all the mods I've tried, only one has frozen up the game and everything else has worked perfectly. And even then, that mod's worked after I redid the game. I just don't think, for some reason, that one time it just didn't want to play nice. They have some really cool stuff. Uh, right now, I have an alien quest that I have on there, and I have, like, the Desert Eagle. But I'm impressed at how well they pulled this off on the console. I think I think the main reason people would um, find any kind of issues uh, for it would be that if they tried to download too many at once. I think that's what I did because I downloaded like twelve. Give me mods. all the mods. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there are literally hundreds out more. here right now. Um, just. You have Games of Throne music. You have a... There's a fat man that every time it fires, it plays the John Cena music. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. John Cena. Yeah, there's one that... There's a... Even a fat man that... Dun, there dun, is a dun. fat man that shoots Baby Sean. If only they had a fat man that shot uh, fat boys. That would be hilarious. Kind of. Is that what they were called? The small versions of the new... What was it called? Um... Uh, Batman and fuck. Oh well, fuck it. But yeah, like yes. you can tell, so many people have like made different kinds of like. There's a flash on here. Someone's made like a red hood mask. Uh, it's impressive how quickly they pulled this off. Like, because I know they had it in beta for a while, and it took them over a year to get the mechanics of how it would work in place. But it, it's amazing how quickly the community were able to take already existing mods and mods that they just now created and with, what, a, f a couple weeks' time have all these mods already put on there and ready to go? That's amazing. Oh, yeah, I think it's actually been really great. And some of the ones that I'm seeing right now, oh, my God, there's a Batman. Sorry. You're good. But it's also bringing PC gamers and console gamers together because a lot of people who are making these mods are PC gamers who are making these mods for us console You're gamers welcome. and seeing what they can do with it. Thank you, Your Majesty. No, I'm kidding, but it, it is kind of bringing the community together. You're seeing really? uh, Stop people who never mind. Really? Stop stroking his ego. <laughs> <Stroking>. <laughs> I have to stroke something. He likes to stroke. I ain't gonna stop him. I like to stroke. He likes to suck. It's just how we play nice. But um, but it is bringing the community together because now you're having console gamers who've never modded before in their life jumping onto a laptop where it's been made simple and modding and getting into these modding communities with PC gamers who are now coalescing with these uh, console mo uh, modders, and it's becoming like one big family and community, which I find really cool. It's bringing the world together, man. So lovely. I bring on the sex mod. Oh wait, Bethesda won't let us. Damn it, I kid. Hey, there's <laughs> yeah. some unauthorized mods. I just want to throw that out there that uh, they don't approve. Like a lot of with your online ones, you'll get a lot of unauthorized mods. So don't don't uh. Don't count out the sex mod yet. Well, Bethesda has to go through them once they get uploaded before the Stop public is... Stop telling them that. <laughs> I wish it wasn't really? cool, I mean, I, re I mean, and that's one of the big things is that um, uh, Bethesda is really like honing in on what people are actually downloading to make sure it's okay for people to actually play for everything else. I mean, granted, I'm sure a sex mod would be great for everybody. Yay. Because none of us gamers, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's good for just the two perverts here. Yeah. <laughs> I see that. Don't you, don't you count me in with you, sir. I'm an upstanding gentleman. Of... I know you have one on Skyrim. Don't oh, you lie. please stop lying, Justin. Oh, yeah. I am lying my ass off. This is the same guy that went... Never mind. Never mind. This is a kid's <laughs> show. We gotta remember kids watch this. Never mind. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no need for uh, skeletons in those closets right now. Good being proverbially let loose. Hmm. Well, 
What's I'm, um what what are you guys so like out of the mods, like what are currently like the most um most used that you guys have noticed or what do you think is gonna be like the top three like out of the ones that you like what would you say are your guys' three favorites? I can I can give you guys uh, right now. Um, I'm looking at the most popular today. Um, is right now number one is apply legendary effects to any weapon. Oh, uh, that's number one. Uh, spawn items for Xbox One is number two, which I have that as well. And the cheat menu, which is the ultimate hollow tape, is number three. I have not downloaded that. Those are the three yeah, only... that I'm seeing on my screen. I don't know if it shows up any different for anybody else's. Um, I don't know about that now. I do have the cheat book that kind of works. That one, for some reason, doesn't work on some. I definitely want you to send me the one you got. They're monkey paws. But I know the categories that, at least for most games, the mods are most popular. It's come down the line when they hopefully they do let for more uh, uh, memory on these mods uh it will be definitely the quest mods character mods and different types of weapon builds but everybody wants the game to continue after they beat it no matter how much dlc comes out so i bet you there's going to be a lot of quest mods in the future that is really going to carry this game yeah. on there's a uh, one that has an island on it um one that i think makes me laugh is don't call me settler which means everyone in sanctuary shuts up for five seconds yeah. awesome I got one right now that's actually a quest mod where it's an alien invasion, which I've been having a little bit of fun with. 